Dateline, Hollywood, Oscar Eve 2017. The results of the 37th Annual Razzie Awards have been announced, and we have the complete list of winners. And to announce them, the voice of the Razzies, Bill A. Jones. The very first Razzie for Worst Supporting Actor goes to the guy Vulture.com slammed as Ham with a side of ham. <coughs> Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor in Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. The red capes are coming. For Worst Supporting Actress, the member's choice is a usually gifted comedian, clubbed by the ABclub.com for a bizarre and pointless performance and not an amusing one. <laughs> Kristen Wiig in Zoolander, number two. <laughs> For worst screenplay, the winner is... The red capes are coming. Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Hey! Next up is worst director. What takes home the gold spray paint here? A so-called documentary the UK Guardian gobsmacked as so demented that no synopsis could do it justice. <laughs> Dinesh D'Souza and Bruce Schooley for Hillary's America, the secret history of the Democratic Party. And, 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 and the reason you're giving it to me is because you're very upset that Trump won. If you haven't gotten over it, you probably never will. For, for worst prequel, remake, ripoff, or sequel, the envelope says, the movie, ericdsnyder.com, compared to putting your head in a beehive for two and a half hours. <laughs> Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. <laughs> this year's winner of the Barry L. Bumstead Award for a movie that cost a lot and lost a lot is the aptly titled Misconduct, starring Al Pacino and Anthony Hopkins. It cost $11 million and grossed all of $15,150. Oops. Worst screen combo was voted on by thousands of users at Rotten Tomatoes. The winner of this one was accused by Cinemixtape.com of torching two of pop culture's greatest characters and using their ashes as its own personal urinal cake. <coughs> Ben Affleck and his BFF, Baddest Fool Forever, Henry Cavill, and Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. So many, so early, so sad. Now we're getting into the top categories. For worst actor, Razzie members crowned a fella of whom the New York Times chirped, his entire performance is very dramatic chipmunk. <coughs> Dinesh D'Souza playing himself and the narrator in Hillary's America, the secret history of the Democratic Party. This kind of award is really good for my career. See, if I got an Oscar, I'd be done. I couldn't make another movie. My audience wouldn't even show up. They think I'd, I'd, I would, they would think I would have become one of you. Ugh. Among the six ladies contending for worst actress, the first place, or is that last place, female, was called a ham-handed thespian by Variety. <laughs> the quote-unquote actress who played Hillary Clinton in Hillary's America, The Secret History of the Democratic Party. Rolling Stone's Peter Travis said he's made a film about family, 
love, and forgiveness. A movie you don't want to miss. From rant to rave, miracles do happen. This year's Razzie Redeemer Award goes to former Razzie nominee and Oscar winner, Mel Gibson for Hacksaw Ridge. And finally, the worst of the very worst. Worst picture. So who won the big one? The film hailed by IndieWire.com as an embarrassment for Republicans, Americans, and pretty much the rest of humankind. <clears throat> Hillary's America, the secret history of the Democratic Party. And a Razzie being sort of dissed by you guys, this is absolutely fantastic. My audience loves the fact that you hate me. Thank you. Okay. That's it for this year's Razzie results. Until next year, we wish you a good night and hope you enjoy tomorrow night's 89th annual Giving Out of the Little Gold Naked Men. For the 37th annual Razzie Awards, this is the voice of the Razzies, Bill A. Jones speaking. <laughs>